May I now request Professor S. Bhattacharya of TIFR as well as the Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose Distinguished University Chair Professor at Presidency University, Kolkata to say a few words. Distinguished members on the dais, <coughs> guests and my friends and colleagues from TIFR and elsewhere who have gathered here. I'm indeed very grateful that on this occasion you have remembered to invite me and say a few words. Um, in order to uh, introduce a bit of levity in these August proceedings, I wish to remind you that I now live in Calcutta and that explains my white and blue attire. Um, if you have a house in, uh, in the state with these colors, uh, you don't have to pay taxes and I'm hoping that continuous wearing of this color will similarly exempt me from paying taxes. Um, having said that, um, I also have to tell you that uh, being a Bengali, I cannot begin. It's mandatory for a Bengali to begin everything by quoting Tagore. So, uh, Spenta, I, I looked for a, a, an appropriate quote, and the quote is that uh, there is a beginning before every beginning, like oiling the wicks in the morning for the lamp you will light in the evening. So in, in the spirit, you know, I have very little new to add, so I thought it might be interesting for a few minutes to tell you how tortuous a path one takes to get anything done. And so perhaps I can recount a little bit of prehistory for your amusement. So about um, uh, when high TC broke uh, uh, in our horizon, I attended a workshop, teaching a workshop in ictp 3 s where I met a, uh, two theoretical physicists, um, one from Calcutta, one from Dhaka, and they meet um, every year in 3 s It's about three hours bus ride uh, between uh, Kolkata and Dhaka, but they meet in 3 s uh, to do their collaboration, and uh, as good Bengalis, they complain about the food. And um, it seemed uh, rather strange that this ought to be the case. And over the years, um, Professor Gross is here, so um, I have to say that I have met more of my colleagues in scientific um, uh, collaborations and discussions, etc., in Santa Barbara than I have met either in Bangalore or in Bombay. So this um, peculiar situation seemed, uh, seemed uh, that it needed to be addressed. And um, uh, so uh, this, uh, you know, this thing has been on the back of my mind. And then the third uh, coincidental thing happened was that TIFR has a building, had a building, in the IISC campus. And my predecessor, Professor Jha, was once asking me after the NCBS has moved out of that building, uh, what to do with it. And I said, you know, why don't we do something like ictp 3 s in there? What better thing would it be uh, for IISC and TIFR to do something together, and he thought it was a great idea. Nothing much happened, but after, in 2004, uh, Srinivasan, who isn't here, I just wanted to acknowledge that during another visit to 3S Day, I mentioned this to him, and he said, go for it, and I'll do everything I can to help you set this up. So these are the people who are in the background, who helped in many different ways to shape the concept of, of this um, ICTS. Actually, I didn't think of ICTS. I, didn't, I left the I part out, uh, knowing that it's ambiguous. It could be Indian, it could be international, and so on. Um, and that's how uh, we started. And then in the pl planning commission in 2005, I broached this subject. And planning commission, to my uh, great shock, immediately thought it was a very good idea. And because this has a very interesting history, Jawaharlal Nehru um, figures in it, there's too little time to go into this. The idea was that if we have something like in South Asia, we could serve also the rest of our part of the globe, Southeast Asia, South Asia and others, Africa and so on and so forth, perhaps a little bit better. Council approved this um, in principle and then all the hard work, as Sampath has said, has been done uh, by Spenta, Avinash, and their team. 
and I watched from a distance, um, giving moral support, but little else. Um, now, um, I just wanted to say a, a few words is, um, as to you know, when uh, this was proposed in the council, what were uh, the thoughts we had. It would be a tragedy if uh, institutions uh, are held hostage to an original vision. Institutions are dynamic things and they ought to respond to the need of the times. But I thought it would be a good idea on this occasion at least to recall what it is that we wanted to do. Number one, connect with the world. And number two, serve the local. Um, third, in our country, the institutions are stratified according to our caste structure. And therefore, we ought to serve the structure, that, that part of our community, which is less fortunate, uh, given less resources, yet they are our peer group, that's where our students come from, that's where the future is, and that it should also serve like an inter-university center like the one Professor Nalik had built in, uh, in Pune. And uh, the other thing that we thought is that uh, we are a place for fundamental research, TIFR, it is, uh, as, uh, as we all know, and that means the conventional, conventional disciplines, physics, mathematics, biology, chemistry, and so on. But it is also very, very important for a country like ours and increasingly the globe itself to bring rigor to other disciplines, the same rigor that we use in ours, to disciplines which are of vital interest for our survival, like the environment, energy, water, natural resources, diseases, and so on and so forth. And there ought to be a place which will finally break down the silos between institutions, between disciplines, between modes of research. And finally, as an experimentalist who has a record of never having written a single paper in the theory, I'd like to say that we have, uh, unfortunately, a divide between theory and experiment. And this has helped neither theory nor experiment, in my opinion, uh, my judgment after all these years, and it would be great. And, and I know that it ha has very much been in the minds of the builders of this institution to bring in uh, people of my sort here and uh, let us hear the latest uh, on theory and hopefully some theorists will peek at our data and think about them and that will be good for all parts of science. So once again, with those hopes and with those prehistory, I thank all of you again for being here. This is a great beginning, and I hope that it will have a great life forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Bhattacharya.